breakfast rice balls and spam thing. Wow. Ooh. 8 a.m. Ginza on a Friday morning. That's the lineup for tickets because they stop the commuter passes. Field trip, yellow hats. Five dollars a ticket. They all come at the same time. Disneyland monorail. It's so cute, that train is pink. Left side for standing, right side for walking. Train maintenance depot. I don't think they're all going to this show. Freshly grinded beans too. Sick. That's a cool kid. There's a guy here wearing a Tokyo Auto Salon jacket. So this is the overpass that brings us to the show. There's a sign. I think that's the entire show building, or maybe it's that one over there. Energy drink. Interesting. There's a map here, and there's a map here, and there are a total of 11 halls. This is hall 9 to 11, I think. Holy. Dude, this is sick. Even from up here, you can just see like the coolest cars that were like, over there. We're at Craft Sports. So this is a dealer where I got the Skyline from, the R34. And they have all the generation lineup over here from the 32, 33 LM edition, 34 in active red, super rare, 34 in Bayside blue, uh, 400R, wow. And what's that? We'll go look at that later. That has a super big wing. I've never seen these fog lights before. Interesting. And these are all for sale. 22 million yen for this one. About 200,000 Canadian. Blue LM, 26 million yen. Active red. Uh, what does that say? Oh, okay. Se 700,000. Okay, let's not buy that. But super rare. Wow. Red looks really nice on this. It's got the whole Z Tune kit. Very proper. Very nice. And here we have, oh, this is a Clubman race spec. So this car basically was sent to Nismo factory, stripped down and well, with a new engine, whatever the customer wants. These are 19 in inch LMGT4s with R35 brakes and rotors. Very neat. This one is asking 300 million yen, which is about 3 million, I think. Um, that's a lot of money. This is a 400R, limited to 40 cars, or I think 44 cars. This one is asking 500 million yen, uh, which is 5 million. Jesus. Very neat. Ah, this is a Tommy Kyra kit. Nice. Uh, 300 million yen. Interesting bumper. Midnight Purple 3. This looks super original. Um, it's got... How many mileage? 12,000 kilometers asking 120 million yen which is about 1.2 million yikes so something about midnight purple cars is that the wheels are painted in this silver color whereas the other cars are painted in a um, more of a champagne white gold color millennium J cars these cars are only limited to the m spec nur and the uh, v spec tuner special color wow Damn. RB26 pistons. The back end. Anime looking RX7. Even the wheels, look. They painted paint the wheels to make it look like it's a comic. A top secret booth. Ni Nissan GTR specialists. All the way from 32s to the newest 35s. Super cool. Oh, a gold one too. Let's go see this one. Uh, what does it say? 800 horsepower. Holy shit. 800 horsepower R34 in this gold color with all the other ones. The back still retains the twin tips like the original car. These gray cars. Special wheels. These have the same wheels. Let's go look at the gold one. I think this one might have a kid on it. Oh, even the wheels are gold. That's sick. Oh. Sega! Sega! Okay. 
This is the Mitsuka or something. All the bling on this bike. That's a little auto exam turner to F40. The tiny KF40. That's a coon brush that has been literally long. There's an F40 back there. This is like sick. And the back of the Countach. Tokyo Custom. Very custom, yes. Custom exhaust for this car. Wow. Super neat. Look how low that is. This is what they made last year, the Liberty Walk F40. And this year they changed the color to make it a little bit like chrome with the pilot livery. Very neat. That's the R34 Skyline Liberty Walk. They got the Hot Wheels version of it. Seven with the turbo fans and then the R34. Liberty Walk Mercy Lago with these angry eyes. Yankee Booth has a Calsonic R35 GTR race car. Very cool. Look at the cal look at the rotors and the calibers. Just taped up and all that. But looking at the wheels over here, where are the NTO3s? Special brilliant finish. Probably the best finish by this company. Side exit pipe from the passenger side? Yes, from the passenger side. You really can see the cat on the side. Spirals. Very cool. Down there is just arrow. It's all arrow. It's flat. That's the one I want. But in this finish. And cute merch. New Land Cruiser. That's the old one. Oh, the Tomika stand. Wow. Even toys have a booth here. These are the auto salon specials. I think these are the new ones. Oh. Those are cool. They even have a 787 that you can open. That's the NSX. The box. And there's a little tongue sticking out, which is a tow hook. Very neat. That's the model car. Super GT cars. Extra white Supra. Full carbon NSX. And the uh, GT500 R35. This is neat. Everything underneath this is not a street car. But it kept with kind of the body. That whole front end comes off with that clip over there. A thousand kilos apparently on this car. Some Japanese DTMs thing. To buy the special Tomikas, and there are sim racers here. Land Cruiser, the winch bar, all the parts, and merch. Look at the stickers here. Audi with no hood. It's a race car. Look at the intake. Ooh, look at the cage. Carbon fiber, big weaves, big wing. Jesus booth. So these guys got me one of the passes here. Let's check out their booth. 2000 white and pink. This is actually cute. Chrome blue brakes. Swan neck wing. Oh. Cruiser Supra. Supra with a roll cage and the 86. That's sick. Look at the taillights on this. You get the whole line. This is a wrapping company. Look at all the colors. That's like green to purple. Rock on Evo with a kit. This is a 935 Tribute and apparently somebody was saying that the bumper cracked when this was being loaded in so they had to repaint it overnight and get it ready for today. Those dudes are sick. Let's check out the inside. Plastic windows. Is that a fire extinguisher or oil gas can? The wheels too. Look at the back. Very cool. It's like air cool, I think. More Land Cruisers. These are the one Tanabi wheels. They have a little booth for it. Very neat. That trailer though, that bike. The music car. Lower than back 355. That's sick. Here we have a Hakosuka with a carbon hood and 
the reinforced row cage. Another Hako. Look at the inside of this. That dash. That cage. The craftsmanship. Oh, the goat I think. Taking photos of models for tires. RCF, very cool. I think this is Midnight Purple 3 or something on a sedan actually, very cool. Another sedan over there. Color changing. That's sick. A Challenger with suicide doors. Dude, look at the exhaust. It's yo, you hit a bump, you're done. These headlights look like the Charger's taillights, but they moved it to the front. If you look closely, the hood and the fender goes like up and down. Meanwhile, the bumper goes sideways. The wrap. Interesting. Back then, nobody said I want a Prius, but now I want a Prius. These are sick. Some Mercedes RVs here. I've never seen that before. Hold up. Hey, eh? what? All the steering wheels, the drift cars. These are so bright, you can see them from outer space. You think your fitment's sick? That fitment's sick, look at that. This one too. Sweet. Oh, the new 86. Let's see what they did to the engine. Turbo, wait, that's a rotary swap. Red STI, nice. Oh, look at the swing. Very nice. Carbon trunk. Oh, sick. Oh, Lego. The Toyota 2000 GT. The coupe and the spider. That one is very rare, apparently. So sick. I think they were trying to compete against like some like, Italian cars. And these are asking over like a million dollars now. Found these two, the FK8 and Boost Blue, and this one is Sonic Gray, the FL5. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Well, different makes and models, even the 22B. All of these model specific magazines. There's a whole amp, speakers, and TV in the RX7. This is the outdoorsy department of the Tokyo Auto Show. We have like a little truck with extra bars and a whole camping setup in the back. Look at that. Spaceship looking Isuzu truck. Forge Carbon Supra, holy shit. Wow, they look like flakes of carbon. Holy, look at the back. Glass to lead. This guy's outfit, sick. What do you think, these taillights or the new ones? Dinner plate wheels. Hello, the veil side wing. These brakes. The 400 with a kit. All the GR Corolla is over here. At the NGK booth, we have this Super GT 400Z. Sweet, look how much wider it is. Spark plug display here. Anime race car. That's, a, that's actually a nice color. I don't know what this is, but it's actually pretty dope. There's the Liberty Walk booth. Made of cars. That's a 935. Liberty Walk R34. Two cars still covered. Work wheels. Very cool. Oh, that's a nice blue. The new work wheels. That's a nice stance. It's proper. Going to the M4. It's also sick. And there's the wheel wall. Meisters. Sweet. So you can literally come here and just choose. Ooh. The um, Mercedes monoblock style. Those are cool, and these ones. 
custom rainbow wheels. And over here you have different hardware for like gold ones, sprint titanium, and different barrels. And that's how I show you how the three piece wheels were made. Shopping for wheels. The Gazoo Racing booth, the GR booth with actual race cars. Look at the cute cat. There's a Prius over there. Let's look at that. World Rally Championships and the Le Mans race car. And even these racing cars use race wheels. Look at the brakes inside. Temperature gauge. The GR Prius. Never thought I would say this, but that's actually sick. Got race wheels, endless, endless calipers and rotors with a full cage. Carbon wing, massive. That's a fuse cell. That's sick. On the back, on the back door. Air jack. Prius race car. And that is the new Century, the GR Century SUV. Wow. I think this one has sliding doors. Not sure, but really cool. Oh, yours. That's the racing version. That's the street version. But let's see what's up with this. Extra protective radiator. Bigger brakes, endless, air jack, cage, racing seat, and that wing though, oh, Jesus. I wonder what the engine in this is. That's a fuel cell. Gas goes in there, goes, in, goes down there. There's a stock Yaris, and there's a kind of modified Yaris. Not sure what they did to this. Hmm. GR parts, the wing, the hood, Coilovers, swan egg wing. George Corolla gets back the GT3 pipes. Got this little token for the mystery box. Let's see what we get. This GR Corolla has a 2JZ with a massive turbo and nothing underneath. Moving over here, we have a Mazda RX3 station wagon. Probably also engine swapped. Whatever that is. That's sick. Surfer, lights, scuba gear. Over here, this one's a bike, it's a Subaru. <laughs> Bicycles on a trailer, on an outback. That's what a Subaru's for. VBS Japan, with the LMs on this R35. I want these. Check out the interior. We got a TV screen there, and we got that. The Subaru stand. Look at the interior of this race car. We got a digital cluster. We got a digital rear view mirror. And I think a digital side mirror as well for display. The cage and the um, fuel cell has carbon fiber piping. That's so cool. The race car, they're putting kids in it. The extra wide race car. Here is the new WRX race car. What the heck? Why can't I just make an STI version of this? Nice. M3 wagon. We don't get these in America, but Japan, but Japan gets everything. Wagon. Think of this one has M performance parts. Look at the exhaust tips. Oh. This is a new M2 with all the M performance parts. I don't think I've seen one of these in person yet. Like, I mean, with all the parts. Even has a center lock wheel that doesn't come with a locking uh, key or tool. On the inside, we got the performance wheel, we got the carbon bucket seats. Sick. The new i5, I think. Constantly cleaning. Very interesting grill with the lights. And performance wheels. Electric car with performance parts. Actually looks dope. I would rock this out. That's the back of the M2 with the M performance exhaust. Here there's an M8 with the new grill in the background. Because it's so big, it fits in the background. This one has the M performance wheels, but they're not center lock like, the, like those ones over there. I'm pretty sure that truck is one of 10. That, that's it. All these cars with funny wheels. A Lambo Sion with purple carbon. 
I think this is viola purple or SE30 viola. No idea what kit this is. Got some Daytona SP3 vibes. MC12 here. They just lifted the car for some reason. Now it just lowered itself. Very cool. One of 50, I think. Uh, this is the new. I don't know what that's called. Oh, MC20, yes. And SF90. They have all the premiums here. And here. Oh, that one's cool. That one's cool. The S15. Aim game. Making Toyota's cool. Even the Prius. That's a Suzuki Jimny, not a G-Wagon, but it looks sick. Oh, it's going up. These are some wagons. We got a new Prius, a Lexus. That's cool. That's a trailer. Look, up, look at the size of that. That's a person, that's storage. And you can hide underneath. Holy crap. That's quite something. I am actually impressed. Look, even the seats are fuzzy. Baby blue. Oh, he's pumping. We're back at the Skyline booth. This time, there are models around here. Look how cute this is. It's a mini wheel. Little press conference going on at Hyundai. The Ionic 5N. Look at the front splitter and the wings. That wing. Wait, that's the Ionic 5N, so what is that? But there are M performance parts on the wall. There's a whole diffuser there. Can't get in there, but look at the diffuser on that thing. They're giving little buses. Look, it looks like that. What type of exhaust would you like, sir? Yes. Bro. Nice. BYD. Chinese brand. They're starting to make really cool cars. That's some really cool design. Novatec Rolls Royce and for no F8. Oh, look how deep that wheel is. Novatec F8. Interesting. Sick. What's this? Oh, some racing drifting. NSXR and a new NSX. Sweet. This is a dash cam company. Very popular in Asia. Ultraviolet Golf uh, Golf GTI. The flower truck. More flowers. You know the Renault Turbo? This is the damned turbo. Even the wheels. Look at this uh, damned thing. So that says non-turbo. They basically copied the real turbo. And there's another one over there, which is, let's go over there so you can see. What does it look like? The Lancia. Where's the Lancia? Look at that. That's 300,000. This is probably 30,000. A golf cart with sparkle racing seats, off road light bar, and a crane. In the back, this thing's being towed by the golf cart. You got a whole like system here. The Japanese Cybertruck. Brakes. And spin them. Rabbit. A bunch of Z's here. S13, I think, or 14. All the taillights here on display. They have an R33 Autech here on display. This one's pretty cool. Look at these wheels. Meaty tires. Mint. It's got a wing too. Not sure what wing this is. I have these at home, but I'm missing this little badge here. Very nice. A red R33. This one's cool. Red interior too. The red one's cool actually. I don't think I've seen a red one before. At least in this condition. The R33 table. With proper wheels. That's cool. Mazda, where are the Miatas? Full carbon GTR with massive turbo. This thing produces 900 horsepower apparently. Jeez. Look at the carbon. And the roof too, it's just one piece. And the cage inside. Lot of carbon. Titanium strap bar for sale. 
That's black carbon, and this is tinted carbon, so it's got a little purple hue to it. Who needs a Dakar when you have this? 90, I think a 97 Boxer lifted with, a, with the bush guards. FL5 with a modded exhaust. What is this? Tip sizes. Plastic is still in there. Ooh, pretty. Titanium strut bar. Pretty wheels. G-Wagon exhaust. This Corolla has a wing, some aggressive exhaust tips, and that fender, extra wide. This wing is cool, but it's like mounted on a glass. Huh? Look at the Miatas. There's two here. This one has like some sick Recaro seats. 400Z in this dark burgundy color. Rubio's BBS. Gold means it's real apparently. The 595, the car that we don't get. Very pretty, very cute. Oh, look at that shifter. G Wagon 800. That's sick. It's got the upgraded brakes too, I think. The big ones. Very cool. And over there is a 488 GT3 car. Sweet. These steel rotors just come off. You just pull it and they come off. Quick replacements. Carbon body show everywhere. The only part that's exposed is this section because everything is stickered up. Rear mounted wing. Air jack on the bottom. Really cool. These views are sick. Like, look at this. The chrome finish one. Brushed aluminum, painted white, more brushed. And these are polished, polished finish. Super cool. There's a whole Mercedes booth here, the AMG booth. Map booth SL63. Super cool, super expensive. The second GT car, I think. The first one was on the other side with the anime stuff on it. Big brakes, endless pads, the blue ones. Side exit exhaust. Carbon fiber everywhere. And a big wave. That's cool. Safety car in red and white. The new FL5 uh, JTCC racing car. Look how wide it is. That's a new Type R breaking the ring record for a front wheel drive production car. They basically maintain the shape of the car, but nothing else. Super cool. And here are the TZ race cars. Not as aggressive, still looks like a car, but still more wide than the other cars. Bigger wing too. Two race cars with a fuel cell in the back. You fill up over here. Did a wiper delete. Not too sure what the group A means, Mugen, but there are some bits that I don't recognize. Like this. I don't think that was on the original car. New wheels, Mugen wheels. Mugen interior, very cool. Mugen Type R Group B. This one has bigger brakes. I think these are all carbon, dry carbon, even the fenders. Same seats as the other, as the other one. Different taillights, I'm not too sure what that is. Single exit. Oh, blinkers. The carbon diffuser. We got the anime F1 car. This is the Olin's booth. Got the JTC series car. Got the Alpine. We got the Miata with Olin's livery. This F1 looking car. I think it is an F1 car. With all the suspension over there. Hmm, gold one with a mini one up top. I figured I saw this in California. And it does have California plates. So yeah, it's a car that I thought car week. No roof. Super cool. An infinity with uh or here it's a Nissan Skyline. But damn. Inside, there's a whole computer with a keyboard in it. Super wide. Just flat in the back. Sparkle booth. Sabbles with all the seats and harnesses. Pista with that cambered wheels. That's quite something. Look at these spikes too. Red interior, all red, red and yellow with a wing. 
I've never seen something like that before. 370, you know. Some rally cars. UK plated, apparently. Very cool. Kind of grew up with these cars when I was younger. The Hatsune Miku race cars. And all of the team merch. All of it. Here is where it gets good. We got a Sonic Great FL5. The Varus team. Even a red one. Let's see what's up with that. With the race booth. All the race wheels. Let's see what's new as well. Got the 2024 book. With all the race wheels. This 35 Nismo has... Never seen those before, but they look kind of cool. Also a primer looking gray, ceramic brakes. Carbon fiber from bumper. That's a TE coming out the back. That's the one I have on the M4. Mazda 3 race car hatch. I think that's a drift car actually. Look at the hood mounted exhaust. Super cool. Over here are the racing wheels. GT3 race wheels, center lock too. Another FL5. This one has army trick exhaust. Didn't even know they made it for this car. Tees. Right from the booth on the other side. That's also pretty cool. Carbon hood. Sick wheels. That front end is just sick. It even has these little dive planes too. You can be cool or you can be really cool with this big wing. Another Sonic Grey FL5 with the Varus kit. Very nice wheels. And this is probably how I would have mine. Side skirts, spoilers. Very cool. And even the GRRs too. In red, and the BRZ in blue. There's a Miata, an RX-7, and that's also an RX-7, but with 993 headlights. The NSX-R in this garage. Maybe it's a GT3. I wasn't sure. Let's see. I think these racing versions have a V8. Advent Racing booth. All those wheels. I think I recognize the... Where's the Advent GT? Ah, down there. Different finishes on the Advent GTs. And even the three, the three spoke wheels. Green E36 with these molded white body fenders. This might be one of Kaiser's design or something. Looks sick though with the interior. These wheels from Race have holes in it. And a 400Z. This is actually a wrap, it's not stickers. And that's a Bayside Blue R35. Nismo GTR on the left, and a new Type R here again. With a body kit. It's got some Blitz exhaust, I think. Uh, some wheels, some side skirts, right hand drive with a Blitz badge. And this front lip is different. Grill lights that changes. LM500H. This car we should get in North America, but we don't get it. Open headlight RX7s. There's a little matching pair over here. That little guy, too. I'm not sure what this booth is, but they have some sick cars. NTO3s. I don't want these on the S2000. If you know, if you know anyone selling a S2000 in Laguna Blue, let me know. Project Newsstand. I was looking at these brakes for the Skyline a couple years ago. Very cute color. I mean, they just get more and more intense, Alcon, polished. HKS booth. I got some of these parts on the R33. Six holy dive plane. It's massive. Nice. That's apparently also a Nismo R35, except they replaced the Nismo batch with the HKS stuff. They actually make the HKS VR38s for this car. Super cool. And you can buy the engine as a crate motor too. Oh, it's got the uh, the cool Recaro seats. Nice. Carbon neutral racing fuel. All the exhaust for this company. It's so cool. All the engine bits, pistons, con rods, crankshaft. Even the block is um, on display. Mitsubishi's booth is actually pretty sick. What's going on? There's a guy up there on a snowboard too. 
That's sick. Team Studio AG uh, BMW M2. Fenders, not sure where that fender is from actually. It's got a matching roll bar, wheels, BBS wheels, non center lock, so it's a hassle, with super sprint exhaust. Nissan 90th anniversary. The merch, the cars, and oh man, these are sold out. These are the Nismo models, the 400C, the R35 Nismo model. What the heck is that? There's a Tomica version of this car somewhere. The Bilstein and Remus M2 running those suspension and that exhaust over there. Brembo booth, all the colors. That's nice green actually. That's an acropomic wing. Look at the exhaust. Sweet. And that's a new M2 exhaust, the whole system. KWV1, 2, 3. Four, five, V3 Club Sport, the one on my M4 GTS, V4 Club Sport, and V5 Club Sport. So my M4 has that, and the M3 and M5 has the V2. Purple M3 Dwagon at the uh, KW booth with Acropovic exhaust. Oh wait, there's one, and there's two. Also a wagon. <laughs> This is where it gets good. The BBS wheels, the CHR, I think these are the three PCHRs. CHR2 Unlimited. Very pretty. All these different finishes, too. The bronze, you got matte bronze with a red lip. What else we got here? Silver, silver lip, gold with gold lip. Another Sonic Gray FL5. I think this is hand carved. Look at it bare metal custom wait custom paint huh i don't think this is painted a bit more a bit too um detailed to be painted look at the engine bay maybe that's painted that's a super white e36 white wheels roy spec white cage flared out rare that's probably at least six inches deep you can see how deep it is very cool and the skyline next to it too also white body I think Nakai signed it and he PPF'd over it. This thing's probably street legal. It kind of has everything except lights. Just tubing chassis, suspension, double wishbone, control arm, steering rack, left hand drive, single seat, occupants are protected. Even that floor rail so you can mount the seat anywhere really. Wait, it doesn't have an engine so okay, maybe it is not a car. Very cool to see this here. Do you recognize this? We just saw this. Same car. A little Suzuki G Wagon over here. A white one and a black one. Sorry, a gray one. These are some family colored blue uh, overlanders with a tent. Very cool. All these lights, even the suspension components are the same color. All the bright seats. STO in its launch color at the Bridgestone Potenza stand. Very neat. Another R34 Mines. Mines V Spec N1 engine with a blue carbon mirror. And the turquoise dive plates, too. Super cool. Uh, they're closing. Probably gonna get kicked out, but I'm gonna do my last short video before I get kicked out. Very nice. Everything's closing. Time to go. Pretty cool. RWB in a truck. And a toy car. Here, out. 